In this video, we'll, we will understand about Oracle System Global Area Memory, Oracle Programming Global Area Memory. We will know how to tune this parameter. We will also know how to use automatic uh, memory storage man facility uh, for managing shared managing system global area and also see how to use programming global area for managing programming global area memory. Now to handle this uh, we need to know one thing which is very important any activity which happens in memory is faster than hard disk. So the main idea of improving a performance where applications are using Oracle database is we have to see that the actions occur in the memory. If the actions occur in the memory, the speed is going to be good. But if the action occurs in a hard disk where the database has to con contact the hard disk to look for some data blocks, etc., then the performance is affected. Let's know more about automatic shared memory management and main is let's understand system global area. A system global area is an area in an oracle database is a memory area in the database which is shared. So what happens is if there are multiple users accessing the data <coughs> since the data is in the system global area it can be accessed more faster. System global area memory is shared among multiple users. Now, system global area comprises of different pools of memory. They are the database buffer cache, then the shared pool cache. The database buffer cache is the place where the data is being stored. For example, when you select a table from an Oracle database, the contents are taken from the hard disk and put into the buffer cache. This is called the database buffer cache. Now, if any other users acts, tries to access the same data, since the data is in the buffer cache, the performance is improved. Since the database do not have to go to the hard disk to retrieve the data from the data file. Next is, next important pool of memory is called the shared pool cache. The shared pool cache comprises of library cache and the dictionary cache. <coughs> library cache comprises of various latches and it also consists of pass code of various various SQL and PLSQL code statements. Now what do you mean by fast SQL? Fast SQL means like when you fire a query like say select star from stash the oracle the code is checked to see who has the user rights whether that particular user has the rights to access that data etc and is stored in an executable format. So this is called as a pass code. Now what would happen is if the same select clause is being fired beforehand, uh, the pass code would exist in the shared SQL area. And this is how the performance of the database is improved. Next what we got is called the dictionary catch. The dictionary catch is a place where uh, row related information are stored like Like you see here, the various dictionaries are being the 
the uh, various r uh, dictionaries rule related are stored here the number of get misses should be lesser this is how the dictionary cache tuning is done it so this is right now we understood what is a database buffer cache and the shad pool cache and 